So we just talked about the project of JSC. And 
Besides getting many lucrative offers, admission is, uh, uh, I think, uh, he uh, uh, got several opportunities for directorships as well as vice chancellorship, never he accepted. And more interesting thing, in every Deepavali, he visited the lab and lighted the lab. And that is the important thing. कि उनका कहना था कि जहाँ की रोटी खाई है वहाँ की पूजा सबसे पहले अगर बातें बात तो ये चीजें बड़ी जाती हैं वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जाती हैं वेरी मेमोरेबल थिंग्स एंड ऑलवेज इंटरेस्ट तू ऑल द स्टेट्स एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपोर्टेंट एंड दैट इज दे गिव द वंडरफुल सुपरविजन्स एंड दैट म uh, this is in Padansri and in 2020 he was visited uh, uh, in my place at Sagar and, and that, that event is completely organized uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, in the respect to uh, Ravi Pandey sir and that is the whole is supported by Ravi Pandey sir and <coughs> during the visit of the yeah, I think hang yes Actually, this moment they want to capture. We want to capture. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. And, uh, and uh, during the, uh, uh, I think this is a picture taken from the, when the APG of the Duma visited the, our lab and he is appreciating the all, uh, in all respect, uh, he is given the name, the name of uh, Hydrogen Man during the, his visit and then, uh, I, and uh, he is cited her. Uh, his work several times and during the science day and many 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 platforms of uh, Professor uh, Dr. A.D. Abdurrahman has said many things about this and there was uh, I think uh, uh, Professor Sian Rao and uh, Chidambaran some visited continuously and every two years he visited to and I think I went to and, uh, several times to go come in and, uh, and say okay uh, that's, uh, I think the uh, Guru Kirtan just died in the right now is K. Rasmudangan that the uh, NMP 2020 is uh, the whole soul in charge of this. Okay, uh, this is another uh, uh, renowned guy, Asho Sarma. And <laughs> Professor Sivasko was an institute builder and team builder and misery and giver. And the whole respect, his popular statement like research is like finding a needle in the dark. That is very important. And, and, and uh, every time uh, Professor Singh Rao said, uh, ये दुनिया ना गोरों की है ना कालों की है ये दिक्कतों दिमाग वालों की है जो मेहनत करेगा वो बढ़ेगा अगर वही नहीं और आज भी इसे राव सर कांडीवस को लाने अभी मैं रात लास के लास के अंदर से मिला था वो अर्ली द मॉर्निंग एक एक एम पे वो अपने लैब हो जाते हैं और टू आवर्स वो लिखते पढ़ते हैं फिर जाएं he has developed a major research facility at BHU, synthesis instrument. In synthesis instrument, we have the PLG deposition system, sputtering system, more than 25 high temperature furnace, high quality furnace, and, and more important things, we made the several furnace by own resources, own hand. It always increased to a whole, all extent to prepare some model, some design or system, and then you go further your research. And characterization techniques, during the, my, uh, my uh, journey, we have the two HRTM and 200 kVm and 300 kVm. Two HRTM and uh, sm 20 and uh, some uh, Philips, I think. Okay. That, uh, and the uh, setup, Raman, we have with two different sources and uh, property management, a lot of system we have uh, in respect to superconducting devices and many more. And application point of view, he did a lot of in a hydrogen space. Yeah. So, this is a, I think uh, obviously he was leading two person scientists and uh, Stanford and also more interesting thing, more than 10 listed is listed in this. Myself also listed in this list. So, okay. Uh, his work is uh, more than uh, seven or uh, eight types of publication and he supervised nearly two uh, thousand of students and both are uh, all are doing very well and excellent in, a, in a, uh, all over board and in here. Okay, uh, and he, uh, so this is some publication details and, uh, and research and I think many people 
know about this wonderful book. Uh, this, uh, this is one of the types of some Ramayan in, in respect to Krishna Bhavi. Still, Kamir got a good amount to write on Kamir sitting, so that is one of the more interesting things. And that, uh, if anybody doesn't know, I recommend, please read this book. This is a wonderful book. And that book was written in 1970. In that is what the book was in and that. Okay. And uh, some other uh, uh, Professor Aouza also collaborated with Sir, uh, with sir uh, for experiment of uh, this hardware student. Uh, Automatica, you will read some. Uh, okay. Uh, this is another work, uh, obviously, uh, that's Indo, Indo student uh, research, doing the Indo student uh, research work that, uh, that will be uh, published in the work. Okay. Uh, please on the video. The one short video I want to show what is the actual ground level reality. Yeah, this is the group. I think only half of the group that is not a whole group. This, there is several uh, part, nano group is Allah and different heart cells is different, super quantity group group is there. There are basically three and four types of groups there. Yeah. And uh, these focus all hospital hardware storage. Technology different use not only for transportation and two three wheeler and also house uh, and house uh, uh, important the air conditioner and cooker system electric generation and they, they have a close to concept of hydrogen house. Please go. Yeah, this is the hydrogen house that is uh, I think uh, we have developed uh, and uh, during our PhD and please go in the last uh, two minutes. Yeah, this is the hydrogen tank. I will explain our. Next, next, yeah. This is a two years. I think uh, the self they were drawing. And the more important thing is the more interesting thing that after the that we have used this uh, hydrogen vehicle, there is a only water. Nothing happened. Yeah, this is the two years uh, in front of uh, Lanka, this is in front of the two gates. And uh, that is the uh, uh, continuously that uh, from Lanka to Haiti, uh, uh, sorry, uh, this is one of the most important things in the world. Haiti, please go last. Yeah. The other, uh, That uh, also uh, he made the home cooker for uh, that mixing up the uh, 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 some methane gases and also that is not pure hydrogen, uh, but uh, mixing up the some other uh, hydrocarbon with then uh, there. Yeah, please uh, uh, complete this. Next slide. Please go slide. One minute. Slide G. Okay. Why are you talking about the hydrogen storage? Obviously, in the uh, uh, study, we have listened to a wonderful talk about the hydrogen storage, how to clean the uh, uh, water and many uh, water speaking, and that is a lot of problems. Obviously, we need the, uh, too much effort for the, uh, on, uh, especially on this topic. Uh, uh, that hydrogen is abundantly available in the complete uh, renewable source, and that is uh, pollution free and source, and that will, can be stored and transported. And also can we replace the four trillion gasoline line? That is one of the these category uh, due to that we are that is useful for. And also uh, mm -hmm. hydrogen property is uh, very good compared to any methane and uh, and any petroleum. There. So so to do that that people are thinking about this. And as, as we know, this is the first element in which we are table, and that is uh, three types of SFO is available that easily is a uh, hydrogen and oxygen is connected and then found of SFO, and the same that is the reverse process. And hydrogen economics is completely dependent on three pillars that more important is production, storage, and application. And still, production is very costly. And uh, that uh, uh, nearly two uh, dollars for the uh, if you want to generate the hydrogen uh, uh, some gram. Uh, that is one of the things. And uh, my uh, supervisor, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 
And that's why he used the titanium oxide for producing the hydrogen uh, by only the some uh, uh, splitting and water splitting system. Uh, yeah. Uh, where to store, how to uh, store the hydrogen? Basically, there are three types of storage. Uh, possibly compress the high pressure storage by uh, that and uh, liquefaction of uh, this system. And more interesting and more safe, the solid state system. The most efficient hydrogen atom is stored by the state hydrogen stored material, uh, uh, like binding S2 and chemically and physically. Both the chemical absorption and physical absorption methods, but uh, we prefer chemical absorption, and uh, that uh, he did a lot of work in this work. Okay, uh, this is the, you can see here there are three types of this storage system, the system, and third one is the some uh, 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 there is some metal hydride. They put in this there in ammonia tubes and put in the some uh, there are they uh, get a lot of work in the you know, paper. More than 25 types of different materials and, uh, and that used for the application point of view. And this is wonderful review articles uh, that you know, hydrogen storage chain involves the Indian concerns that uh, you can read the uh, all aspect of uh, and the Indian, uh, Indian scientist uh, what he did and uh, what is going on. So that is, uh, and, uh, he did and uh, about the hydride material, complex hydride, paper metallic, porous carbon. And we that can is in the so some structural model of this hydrogen crystal materials that is FPS2 and, and yeah. a, a, a sodium uh, ALS4 and that is also uh, carbonate groups and chlorine and that. Uh, but uh, in, uh, there is uh, other types of system uh, that uh, uh, he is focused on the, some intermetallic metal hydride that AB3 types, AB types. A2, uh, B types, AB type, BCC type, and that magnesium hydride, ammonium hydride, some is the high specific surface, porous uh, graphite, graphite uh, carbon, and that uh, uh, also calcium and some other uh, new types of carbon and materials. Yeah. Uh, there is some uh, uh, IOU, that is uh, given by the uh, Ministry of the USA and uh, Department of Energy USA. And basically, uh, right now they have set the new target is of only 5.5 weight percent enough for the hydrogen storage. Uh, if any material is stored, the 5.5 percent that release the hydrogen, that is very important. Release hydrogen at room temperature at at, at, uh, at uh, one atmosphere that is good for the uh, for the that. So that this type of material that we have, uh, 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 I'm going to discuss about here, uh, MS. Uh, Two types of material that is, uh, this is a, one type of chemiotoxin system. That here you can see there is some wires in wires, hydrogen uh, molecules break and hydrogen ions, and that hydrogen is sitting in the in wire. And that then, uh, that some special types of uh, some reactor and other thing. And after that, he given some temperature and pressure that hydrogen will release and they fit and then form a hydrogen. So, this is the formation of this intermetallic hydride. There is, you can see here the wires and that. Uh, wires and is a uh, uh, completely and uh, that we have the basically hydrogen atom is very smaller that can sit anywhere and <coughs> that we absorb and enter interstellar size and many 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 portion that will be and that more important to release the hydrogen with the compression many material can absorb the hydrogen but cannot release the hydrogen so, so uh, that is one of these uh, process there are uh, they have absorbed uh, and desorption is the more important in this uh, mechanism. So, so for this, there is some. Uh, there, uh, this is not my work. This is the work of this, my uh, uh, friend. The, the object of his work is that find out hydrogen. This be eighty five types, and that he has uh, tailored the material by the looking of iron and magnesium, and this is, uh, they want to place. And especially and uh, LA and five only hydrogen absorption is one point four percent. When we replace by the iron, that is hydrogen source capacity is nearly 1.8 percent. When we do the uh, nickel and then LA, uh, 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 sorry, uh, LAM, that is the storage capacity is 2.1 percent. But we use the 50 50 percent iron or nickel, that storage capacity is uh, nearly 2.4 percent. That material we actually have used for the demonstrate the all vehicle. So, so in our vehicle, we have used this wonderful material for the rest of this material is that uh, uh, at a room temperature that will be eliminated and at, at uh, I, I think it's nearly uh, in 10 atmosphere. Uh, 
Okay. How could possible way to tell us this high material to refer to the higher storage? Uh, the same tell you through the substitution of the higher term. That's why uh, we are focusing to how to increase the cell volume. That if you increase the cell volume, that uh, that easily that can absorb the more hydrogen, and that is very important. And that also only the based on electromagnetic concentration and only to the this substitution considering combined effect of size and entropy of the this substitution. So this is some simple things that we have. Uh, uh, must be in, uh, more important thing, and sometimes is the oxide material is a very uh, tedious, uh, but especially on length of oxide is uh, doing good for the as work as a catalytic for the for liberating hydrogen. So that is very interesting. Uh, his group is uh, developed the several catalytic for the uh, especially lithium, palladium, and also uh, uh, carbon and tools for the uh, work as a catalytic for the uh, for the formation. Uh, this is basically in uh, 85 types. There are 37 types of uh, wire, and in this, uh, there are three types of uh, triangle and uh, cell, and, uh, and there are 30, uh, 34 types of uh, tetrahedral wires. And basically, only 6.7% 6 6.7 wires is filled by the 1.4%. So, anyhow, if we use the whole wires, that will be good for the storage capacity for the disk. And that is if you know something, then how to liberate this uh, uh, the hydrogen? That that is very important. And then there is uh, 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 his group has opted. There are two techniques. There is volumetric techniques as well as or expansion techniques. And that he uses very large, uh, uh, I think, the furnace for the uh, for melting and this. Uh, that uh, after the synthesis, they move for the compression and then by the. Uh, uh, there's the uh, XRA system and there is some uh, FECM and technite and basically my training is uh, in the FEI and the boost system. We are trained to me and all this and the enormous uh, respect for the uh, for during the my field. Yeah, this is experimental protocols and that, uh, for this uh, we have used the uh, uh, iron and nickel, uh, iron 0.9% and, and yamian and 0.1%. Uh, so the same uh, observation, we have to change the ratio of iron and nickel, and then finally we found that this is a then a different temperature that will the system will be absorbed and hydrogen uh, will be 2.4 uh, weight percent. So the whole absorption uh, can you can see here that, that the system will be uh, time versus the absorption uh, release, uh, uh, how to uh, system different different uh, conditions is the really the so in particular in the uh, uh, Yemen is used to 0.5 percent, uh, we got the two weight percent of hydrogen can be released by the this system. So so uh, basically uh, here this is simple thing when you do with the basically is a larger size of iron and iron and yamian that will be uh, the increase the volume size of this uh, unit cell and do that then the system will store the more hydrogen and that at the uh, at the root of this easily and just with here nickel is a work at catalytic for the transformation of the release of hydrogen yeah this is uh, some uh, uh, microscope yeah this is the mode uh, this is, uh, that all, already we have seen in the during the video So how to use this uh, system in the, in the back side of the, this uh, nano cars and this is the hydride tanks. Uh, this hydride tanks is made, made by the uh, very simple. Only the weight is of this hydride tank is a 10 kg and we use the nearly 20 to 25 kg uh, material for the for the uh, storage and that more than uh, I think 100 gram is enough for the uh, for 70 kilometers for, for that uh, that will be used for. So, uh, so uh, they've got a lot of uh, things about in this work. So, right now I'll move in, uh, in my own work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, <coughs> during my PhD, I did the uh, work with the Professor Owens was on, especially on this on this outside. And basically, uh, basically, this material is the old material and basically for scientific community, not for the uh, application point of view. So, uh, 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 a lot of politicians uh, 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 already, uh, I'm doing uh, a lot of uh, good work on this work, and uh, I found that a lot of presentation in during this conference, uh, especially on Jig Oxide, and uh, uh, Professor Swahan is a wonderful talk on the general TIO2. 
So, so uh, that uh, medical use for the uh, for the various application and in this especially on the uh, industry, uh, uh, you know, they put material for the this is the cosmetic material for the let's say uh, that is bio biocompatible material in that. So, so that material is why I am I am discussing about gene of that. That means we have developed the very uh, different types of nanostructures only help the very very simple things. We have adopted the Viper deposition technique with the help of this, we found the various, various wonderful structures we have developed, and that one is controlling the flow of the organ, oxygen, and amount of the zinc. The zinc is melting point is very low, uh, nearly 400 degrees centigrade. So we know no need, and that for this we have uh, so motivation of this work is a different motivation of how to this uh, zinc oxide is grown different, different types of nanostructures. And this and and we have known that this align rod without any substrate that is one of the wonderful work and that is, and that after that we have listed the Pune entity for the fitting uh, 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 property and also that another uh, what we have did the magnesium dope dioxide for the hydrogen storage. Uh, uh, I am also going to take some a small work in the hydrogen storage and then uh, uh, further. So I want to discuss about this especially about uh, spectral hydrogen and uh, study of the hydrogen and many symptoms in the oxide. Okay. So for this, uh, the three, uh, as I told you, we made the own hand while designing the process. And uh, this process we have designed uh, red, and that we are using the organ and oxygen uh, organ uh, as a carrier gas, oxygen as a reactive gas. And with the help of the, we are using the high carrier uh, flow rate. Just be, uh, just be different, different structure. When we find the, at the 100 uh, SCM, 200 SCM, 400, and times. He insists to all of them, please go to the lab, do one experiment. Daily. Unka, hamari liye, ek instruction tha, ya direction tha, ki har experiment ko, ek experiment do nun karna. Always, we have a good lab with risk facility, so there is no meaning. Uh, we are available like SRD in, in, a, in an hour. You can do SRD, PM, any, any work you can do, any uh, types of projects. So, we have we posted the uh, big oxide uh, that is cotton like. Uh, this we, for magnesium dose, we have opted the two step process. First, we grow the big oxide in a wire, and after that, we have used the magnesium dope. In magnesium, just in magnesium is easily oxide, uh, they make the magnesium oxide. So we use the tantalum tape for the, then we make the, some fillet and fillet will be covered by tantalum and that, that used for the in a, a vacuum and uh, we have uh, used the uh, uh, the uh, one is 600 degrees centigrade we have uh, used for the uh, uh, LA. Uh, that further we use for the filtration as well as they use for the hydrogenous process. So this is the I will go the SRD and that we uh, uh, for detailing for this we get the ripple refinement that we find that then uh, that our system is a uh, volume is going to increase when when we dose the 10 percent 10 atomic weight per square or the magnesium and then we especially focus for the only 10 percent for the hydrogenation and other property. So uh, that uh, you can see here this is a uh, TM and HRTM and uh, that system is easily available for all the students. Uh, you can go and that you can take the uh, photographs and then and you can discuss with your supervisor and then that is important. Yeah. So uh, you can see here the uh, hydrogen adoption dynamic and uh, especially when uh, we took the 10 uh, weight percent uh, of the magnesium that we got nearly 1 weight percent. That is not good for it, uh, but uh, people are reported nearly 2.4 uh, weight percent. System, but we got only one percent, and then uh, when we increase the magnesium, that is nearly 0.8 percent only. So, so that is not good, uh, very interesting, but we got uh, anyhow good publication that is that. So, yeah, uh, so the PR is cut up. I don't want to, yeah, this is another but I want to, uh, how much time? Then, okay, no, no, I will go. Okay, <laughs> this is the answer. Is the, uh, in this work, we have developed different, different uh, types of microstructure control. That is very important, as you know, in a, in a nanostructure, how to control your system. Uh, 
uh, by the technical method, uh, by the physical method. So I found, especially I found only PLD and structural techniques is good. I am not criticizing to anybody. If you go for the technical method as well as the for the any sometimes get up more, sometimes try to more, sometimes never was I, I was too much uh, hopeless and well, I was use the PLD then oh yeah and then especially there's two more techniques sometimes CV uh, for specific for the different different but not for specific for the thing outside if you use for CV yeah so for the detailed uh, spectral we have used the HRTM and also this is a nano power and behind the reason of this find out there is basically we cannot use uh, yeah any yeah catalyst for the formation of this uh, so general oh yes there is there is in, uh, more formation of this different type of nano structure <coughs> so we uh, did a lot of things so right now time is over so I want to quit yeah this is one of the recent work that we had work. Uh, something we have published, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm my supervisor as well as the Busan SNC, South Korea, Sizan University, Colon Switzerland, and DST. We have uh, nearly three projects from DST and two projects from UGC and Department of Physics, uh, Dr. Hanshi Gaur University, and four employees in the DSU, and this is DR uh, my provider. And uh, this is my citation, uh, nearly uh, more than. 3500 citation and one cell. Yeah, this is the area of my interest. Uh, this is the area of my uh, interest. This is my recent Thank you very much, uh, organizer, especially uh, this is from the wonderful uh, we have set up in our resource. Everybody can come and that use this is a national uh, uh, accelerator. Thank you very much for the nice talk and we have time for a quick question. Professor Ahuja is online, so therefore yes. Mira may or mira organization artistic kiss mad kya madat. Sir no bag and you have to make a lot of people. Any further person than uh, I... yes. Yeah. When you are um, changing uh, the different form of zinc oxide nanostructure, are you trying to change the physical parameters at the sidewise, or you are using some other techniques what you are trying to refer? Uh, basically, uh, basically, more interesting things. We are not using several things. We have used only the organ and oxygen flow. Okay, so what was the flow rate? Yeah, only flow rate. Then we form the biggest type of structure. So sometimes we found the nanopombs, nanoportals. I cannot say uh, this type of nano is a wonderful structure, but, but especially uh, control manner, we have found only two structures: nano tetrapod and nano. And another structure, uh, uh, some structure we have not repeated. So that, so that um, I move for the PRD, especially for PRD. So why do you think? The structures are not uh, coming up in form of a uh, or control manner. Basically, that is not much control manner. Basically, uh, we are using the silica tube. Silica tube is uh, uh, is diameter is nearly four centimeter, and uh, and also we are using the uh, uh, some zinc powder. Amount of zinc powder is also playing the crucial role in the formation. Of it. So there is a lot of things. In the, basically, uh, uh, basically uh, but we want to. Uh, uh, deposit some uh, say on substrate and other things. In a substrate is okay, but that system are deposited on silica fuel that we form the different different uh, systems. So what causes those quality uh, Basically, causes is behind the basically uh, that system is not too much control. Basically, the oxygen pressure and oxygen pressure. Basically, we are using the long uh, tubes and uh, that is not uh, that system is not equated by the uh, controlled by the some uh, I think. Uh, CV like CV and other. That is an open view system. And why do you think that it is not possible chemically to generate uniform homologous structure? Yeah, the same, uh, the same thing says is a, a, the role of uh, play the pH yeah. and pH temperature. This is that material is very sensitive. 
I did the, in the magnesium, we found the wonderful uh, nano, uh, I think, uh, hexagonal patterns. Yeah, I, think, you, I think we can continue this discussion during the high team, right? And uh, we have the privilege and you know, that we are happy that uh, Professor Raji Yohusha is online. And uh, so though he was supposed to be with us uh, yesterday in the morning session, but uh, due to his uh, other commitments as the administrator, as the director of IIT uh, Rupert, as well as IIT Guwahati, and it was difficult for him to travel to Gwalior, and but he has accepted our invitation to be with us uh, through online mode. So I welcome you, sir. Uh, I welcome you, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, great, sir. Great, sir. Uh, so thank you, sir. Sir, Professor has been my mentor as well, and you my postdoc, and we are connected uh, for the last you know, more than 20 years so far. And uh, for uh, because uh, we decided to have a team for his contribution. If you remember that yesterday, I read the citation of uh, Professor Raji Nohuja, and uh, so read the citation of uh, Professor Raji before we started this keynote talk. I invite Professor uh, Abir. Abir has also been part of the same group, so I am just giving this responsibility to, Raji, uh, to Abir to read his citation. Yeah. Well, it is a profound privilege for us to have Professor Raji Bahuja here in this conference as the guest of honor and the keynote speaker. Even in the online mode. And personally, it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Professor Raji Bahuja, who happens to be the postdoctoral mentor of Professor Anurag Srivastava and myself. Professor Ahuja is on leave from Uppsala University, Sweden, and has been serving the director of IIT Rover since 1st of April 2021. He has taken over the additional charge of IIT Gohati on 7th November this year. So currently, he is the director of two IITs. Professor Abuja is one of the most highly cited researchers in Sweden and India. He has been listed in the top five material scientists in India and Sweden. <laughs> Professor Raji made his PhD in physics from IIT Roorkee in 1992. In 2021, he has been awarded the best alumnus award from IIT Roorkee. So he joined Uppsala University, Sweden as a postdoctoral fellow in 1992 and gradually rose to the rank of professor at Uppsala University, Sweden in 2007. So he has returned to India after nearly 30 years as the director of IIT Roper. His research interests over around energy and high pressure physics. He has published 1,083 scientific papers and has garnered H index of 99 and more than 45,771 citations. These numbers increase very rapidly. More than 100 publications are in high profile journals such as Science, Nature, Nature Materials, PRL, and so on. Professor Raji has supervised 30 PhD students and more than 35 postdoctoral fellows, including myself and Professor Anurag. He is a fellow of the American Physical Society and Royal Society of Chemistry, FRSCUK. He serves as the associate editor of the Journal of Nano Energy and is on the and is on the editorial advisory board of Journal of Materials Chemistry A and Materials Advances of the Royal Society of Chemistry UK. Beller Lectureship was awarded to him in the APS meeting 2017. He is a fellow of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and recipient of numerous prestigious awards such as the Walmart Prize, the Eder Lilly. Sven Theras and the Benzelius Prize in Sweden. IIT Roper is shining bright under his brilliant leadership. He has raised IIT Roper to great heights in less than two years. And on a personal note, we found him to be a very friendly and a cool mentor. And in the warm atmosphere of his group in Uppsala, Sweden, we were able to deliver our best. Without any further delay, may I request Professor Raji Rahuja to deliver this keynote lecture. First of all, we would like to, may I request Professor Anurag Srivastava to felicitate our beloved mentor, Professor Raji Rahuya, and then he will tell you his keynote address speech. This is, uh, sir, I am not going to ask you 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 to
Thank you, thank you. I will take when I will come there. Thank you for your kind gesture and uh, uh, Abhir, whatever you know, Abhir, and what Anurag has done. That's just wonderful. And I'm sorry I could not join. Can you listen to me? Yes, yes, sir. Of course, sir. So, this is my office in IIT Guwahati. Yes, of course, we can see that. Yeah. So, uh, thank you, Anurag, uh, for this invitation. And uh, uh, I feel very sorry I could not make it. And uh, when I say yes to you, that at that time I was not having charge for IT already. So, uh, so this is the, how the life is. So it's very hectic, so I could not make, but I was sure I would like to come uh, uh, to Bolivia. And uh, so, Abhir, uh, thank you for my kind introduction. So I will talk a uh, uh, little bit about uh, what is about the uh, Indian hydrogen mission, the national mission, the national hydrogen mission of India also, and uh, why hydrogen is so important that uh, there are many uh, uh, countries are looking for the as alternate and, uh, and India is also going all the way for hydrogen. So this is a future uh, not only in Europe or US but also in India. So I will talk about the uh, energy application and where how we can use in computational materials science approach uh, uh, to address those issues. So this is the, uh, our entrance at IIT Rockford actually, so this is how it looks like in the night. And now I'm at, uh, also at IIT Guwahati also, this is the, uh, if you have been in Guwahati, Guwahati is one of the most green campus among IITs. So we have in the campus, we have a one hill, we have a lake, we have a river. There is, all three things are inside the campus. So it's a very green campus. And IIT Guwahati was set up uh, in '94, whereas IIT Rockford set up was in uh, 2008. So, in, in that sense, IIT Guwahati is a little bit older institution uh, compared to the IIT Rockford. So, so I have a chance now to compare these two institutions, uh, how the old institution looks like and how the the, the new institution looks like. What the difference between old and new institution? Of course, I still hold my position at the Kursa and uh, I'm still working there. I'm on leave from there. I took a leave for five years and I, I joined here as a director uh, at IIT. When we talk about uh, material research for energy application, we talk uh, many areas. Uh, we talk about power generation, so that you can see that a lot of people are working, uh, for example, fuel cells or photovoltaic. And then we talk also about transmission, which uh, nobody thinks too much about the uh, transmission. And if you look at that, mm -hmm. the, the power losses uh, in India and even some places in Punjab, it can go up to 20 to 30, uh, almost 80 percent or 70 percent, is we are losing in transmission. So if we can save those losses and uh, if we can improve our uh, transmission wires, for example, if we can make a those wire with a superconducting material, then we can get rid of all these losses. And the, the losses which we are losing now 70 to 80 percent, some cases 50 to 40 percent, we can save those losses. And saving energy is also producing energy. So when I talk, my colleague in, in Sweden, they are working in ABD. So they always tell me how you can reduce the power losses. And same thing is also the transformer. So if we make a transformer using the superconducting wires, so we can again uh, save a lot of energy. 
Of course, when we talk about consumption, we are using now this uh, solid state lighting. So we are saving energy in that command. So that is, so we design any material for the LEDs and then we are saving energy. So saving energy is also reducing energy. So we are also working on the storage when I will talk, which I talk about today. So basically, I will talk about hydrogen storage and batteries, but we are also working in superconductors and uh, supercapacitors and other class of storage materials. So advanced materials are useful uh, for our sustainable, uh, what we call the uh, development or demand the sustainable energy uh, resources for the understand that there should be the green also. So we can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, things has to be done. And I, I want to tell you one thing that uh, in India, we are not putting too much efforts on the material research. And if you go to any IITs and, and you can see that all the students they want to go to computer science only. Okay? And uh, you can see that when we have this JOSA, which we call this IIT ranking, and they get student get admission after JE at one, they all want to go to computer science. And if you go to any IIT, the lowest ranking goes to the Department of Material Science or Medicine. So we have to change this trend because if they, and the as our prime minister always says that we want to get our biggest money in the world. So we have to develop our manufacturing sector. We cannot have manufacturing sector without materials. We cannot just run software. To run software, we need our materials. So we have to put a lot of efforts on the on the material production. And when we have this kind of conference, this kind of conferences give us a great collaboration. So here, people are coming from different parts of the world, different parts of India, and they sit under at the same umbrella and they can talk and we can discuss. So what we are I'm seeing from, since I joined here, they see that the collaboration part is very much missing here. The people don't want to collaborate, and they don't want to collaborate with them within the institution and uh, forget about other institutions over the time. So we have to create that kind of culture that uh, they should collaborate. And especially when we talk about uh, market disciplinary research or digital disciplinary research, collaboration is very necessary, very, very important because you cannot be expert on everything. So I give you uh, always this example. This, this example is from Uppsala. And uh, I show these two pictures. One uh, on the right hand side, picture of Professor Anders Celsius. So he was a professor in our department in uh, 1750. And then on my left hand side, you can see the another professor with Paul Monini. So he is a guy who has given the classification of the plant. So, whatever the classification of plant exists right now, it is given by Paul Monini. He was a professor of medicine around the same time. And one of these conferences, they meet, whether like you have this conference today. And then Monini uh, uh, suggested to Anders, Anders, I heard that you have given a temperature scale. Your water is boiling and zero-degree and freezing and hunted. It sounds very awkward. Why don't you revert your scale there? So Celsius got this idea from Linnea and he went back to his lab and he revert the scale. Think about it. These two people, one guy from physics and one guy from uh, medicine, if they don't have power, he will still be using a temperature scale where water is boiling and freezing and freezing and hunted. So this is a, how important is the problem? Yeah, okay. yeah, sorry to interrupt you, uh, Raji. You're on the best slide. Uh, actually, we find the slides are not moving at our end, actually. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think we are still on right, right. slide one. You are still on slide one? Yeah, it seems, on the title slide. So now it's moving or? It's still not moving. We are stuck at slide one. Okay. Okay, I will, I will try to do it again. Can you make it full screen? I mean, uh, if you go to uh, uh, screen share mode, if you share the screen, okay, yeah, I think I think that will work. Thank you. 
So now you can see. Yes, now we can see. Yeah, please okay. go ahead. Yes. So when we talk about the uh, uh, Indian situation, uh, how important is the information? And this is one of the speech uh, from our Prime Minister Modi. And when we talk about the national hydrogen mission uh, to make India as a global hub of the clean hydrogen and its biggest export. So you can see that uh, the Prime Minister is when he talked about the Shakti program, hydrogen is a key in the Shakti program. So uh, the government of India has decided uh, to open many hydrogen valleys in, in the country, and this is one of the initiatives which come also from the Department of Technology in India. Hydrogen valley platform in India. So they are going to set up around seven platforms within India, and which are focused on, on from all the way from hydrogen production to storage and to application. So if you can see that in India scenario, right now we are all using hydrogen gas uh, for hydrogen uh, uh, for using hydrogen in mobile application, for example, in the buses or in trucks. So the idea is that how we can make uh, uh, these cylinders safer. Another thing is that uh, uh, because we don't want to build our hydrogen, um, because we don't have an ecosystem uh, hydrogen filling station, so we want to have a cylinder where we can go up to very long distance. So, so there are two kind of work that are going on, especially in our field, that we are designing a new kind of hydrogen cylinder. Of course, uh, we want to have the cylinder should be small and compact, and as well as the materials point of view, also that it should be very safe. Because in these cylinders, we could use hydrogen as a hydration. So, right now we are using 200 kilowatt. So, now if you want to make a very big cylinder, so then people are going to be going up to 700 bar, so 700 bar pressure. So, right now you are using 200 bar. So, so, there is a research going on production also. And how we use the hydrogen, that is a key issue also. And for example, for Punjab, we are going for uh, with a bio mass. Because you know that uh, uh, Punjab has a lot of this biomass, when there are a lot of cases also in the world, and you know the pollution is coming from Punjab or this Korali burning. So, we want to do that for all it produce hydrogen, and we want to produce a green hydrogen, so that's our right. We don't like to use a gray hydrogen, black hydrogen, we want to do that. So, there's a lot of effort. So, when we are going to develop this valley in Cooper, so basically we will use the hydrogen from bio. So, of uh, course, we want uh, any of these economy, it should be a sustainable. Can you see it? Okay, now. Hello? Yes. Yes. Can you see? Yes, Rani, we can see. Okay. Yes. So, we, we talk about the uh, hydrogen economy because hydrogen economy is a sustainable economy. Why is the sustainable economy basically what we do is uh, if you take the simple water, you break water into hydrogen and then we can store uh, hydrogen in some media, it can be solid, it can be liquid or it's a gaseous form, and then we can use uh, for example the users. And then once by product again it will get when we use the future again hydrogen. We start with hydrogen, we get hydrogen and this hydrogen we combine again. With oxygen in the environment, it will destroy. So, in that sense, basically you start with the water to empty the water. So, this is a two band study technique. So, I think that we store in three different ways. We talked about the high pressure storage where in cylinder you can put hydrogen under pressure, then you can have a liquid storage also where hydrogen can be cooled down at the cryogenic temperature, and then we have a solid state storage. So, so most of the work in India. So we now we use the gaseous code, which is not very safe in the sense because the hydrogen is under pressure. So basically, there are two different ways of doing the hydrogen. So we will talk a bit about So this is a, uh, all the community hydrogen in that uh, we feel 
our gills with the water only and then we go around the world. So, so this is our wish keep the world clean and hydrogen for me. So we don't need any oil or gas, we need water and fill water in the plane and we produce on board and then we go around the the other aspect here of, of the batteries, for example, and uh, the, ch the challenge in the batteries are also that uh, we need a very high capacity battery right now. So that's the demand for our application in our laptop or in mobile phones. So that is driving mean that we need a high capacity battery, but when we want to use this battery for mobile applications, like uh, from a mobile laptop or so your phone, we want very lighter. Mm -hmm. Batteries or battery should be retained. So you can see that uh, if you look at the on the right hand side, that uh, uh, we want very thin battery at the same time, very high capacity, uh, or a very high intensity battery. So this is also again a challenge. So where again, uh, material science will play a role in terms of material and combination of material science help to design those kind of materials uh, for the battery application. And this is the you all know that the good enough for the keeping the whole price for the real battery, but we are using that in our mobile phone this week and over to batteries. So this is recognized by also the local uh, community that batteries are used everywhere. So usually if you see the normal price are not given for the most of the technology development, but they are more on the basis but as well on beyond the basis. Nobody can leave the so this is a this is a work in invent uh, and they got no place in the things. And when we talk about traditional material plants, uh, we always think that uh, uh, if you want to get the experiment, you should be able to learn teaching. So this is uh, one application which I say that I took it from the Vinci's. Uh, novel that practice should be all based on the normal theory. Otherwise, you are not going in a state without the interaction. And when we talk about computational material science, so we are talking in the area in uh, electronic structure or something of, of quantum theory. And now, everybody in India, all over the world, we are talking about quantum mission. We are talking about quantum computing. So, how important is always uh, quantum theory or quantum mechanics? Can see that uh, it is a wide future application. So, if you look at this history of the quantum theory or electronic structure calculation, basically what we are doing is from the last century itself. So, there are a lot of uh, progress has made, uh, and uh, so thanks to the density function theory that uh, we can treat nowadays a uh, lot of these complex systems and multi million atoms and so they have to be So, so that's the idea of this field drawn, and, and now we can make a prediction, we can see the struggle, and uh, we can easily convince our experiment components. So, when we talk about, uh, as I told you, uh, we talk about actions, when we talk about storage for mobile applications, we all this concern about the weight, uh, we don't want to have heavy weight materials. So, for example, if you want to drive this car for 500 meters, so it is that. And the size of the tank, if you put in a 200 bar of pressure, this is the size of the tank. And but if you go to the liquid storage of acid, you can further reduce the size of, the, of your tank. But if you go to the metal high price, you can further store, uh, reduce the size of your gas tank. But you can see that the, the, uh, the reduction is not very drastic going from liquid to, uh, to the solid state storage. But if you can see that this. Uh, when we want a very heavy, high weight perspective of material, hydrogen in a material, we should use the lighter element. So these are not a good lighter element. So basically, if you want to make a material with light metal, just if you take only this, this here, we should forget about completely and rare and high heat. So then you can see that we don't have much choice of can use this lighter element, which we nowadays we call a pump uh, metal hydrides. If we use that kind of materials, and uh, we can make the size of the tank this metal, this metal hydride system in the length of the magnetic is further by So we have those systems, and we have those materials which we can use for reducing the size further down 
And for example, uh, if you look at this table, they have shown many individuals so which call by complex metabolites, uh, which exist and they can have up to 28% of hydrogen if you look at the lithium bone or hydrogen four. And if any materials have more than five to six eight percent of hydrogen in the system, we can compete with existing oil and gas technology. So you can see there are a lot of materials in which exist where you have a high eight percent of hydrogen. Only problem is that it's option temperature. You can see L I D H4 that subject temperature is around 550 Kelvin. So you have to heat uh, heat the system to take out hydrogen from this kind of material. So we want that hydrogen to come up at room temperature. So we have a, so we have to find the material there at the uh, at the room temperature, but all around room. So the so the more of hydrogen four is the one to put example where we can have all different but we can take any of this uh, element, which we call like sodium element, and we are also we have 60 78% of hydrogen in the system. But, uh, but with the dispersion temperature, we call that which is 500 Kelvin. Again, if I take this material, or I can design a new material where this often temperature is low, or I can take this existing material and I can try to do some kind of catalyst, or and I can refuse this often temperature in this material. That will be a, a good way to design a new material for storing and for storage. So we have looked uh, in my system, it can be a porous system, which we call the uh, window system, that pops, pops, and then we have a metal hydride right, right, or this kind of system, there is a window system. In window system, I already discussed that absorption is very high, a very high temperature, but in this system, it's another way around that hydrogen uh, come out from the system at a very low temperature. So so well, there in terms of system, I have to increase the resorption temperature, but in terms of system, I have to reduce the resorption temperature. So we took about an example like the sodium element. I'm not sure we used very complex material, and we have a lot of complex materials, but just to make simple and see, we have to study the material and you can understand the physics of chemistry of the material. So always we just on the small system. Model system, and then we can go in a complex system. So, I'm not going to show very fancy picture or very complicated picture. I took one simple example. If you take a sodium alanine, so sodium alanine, uh, if you look at the resorption of hydrogen, and the hydrogen doesn't come in a single step, they are coming out from the system in three different steps. In first step, I get 0.78% in one case. And finally, the last step, where I get the total hydrogen on the system. But if you look at the resorption temperature, it's very high. So I have to reduce the resorption temperature around the temperature. It should be 25 degrees centigrade or something. So we have to think about that, how we can reduce it. So then there was the one experimental work where they have shown that if they add some kind of catalyst like that, they try to arrive, they can make this reaction reversible and lower the hydrogen system. So we have looked in the sense that if we avoid the high forget much better. Why we cannot use other factories which can maybe work, work much better uh, than uh, packaging by over So we took just uh, sodium alanine as an example. So just for example, we forget about any other group in the chemistry. If I want to take one hydrogen from this system in sodium alanine, I need four point uh, four electron volts in it. But if I add calcium trichloride in the system, then I can reduce uh, this desorption temperature further down to 1.9 seconds. So hydrogen removal energy is 1.9 volt compared to 4 electron volt uh, with and without calcium. So it means catalyst is working and it's a basically it's a, and showing the routine of, of the energy so hydrogen can easily really, so you can really transfer this energy in the temperature. Within E is equal to AP. So then we say, okay, we try other catalysts, but that's a good thing when you're working. So we try many of those catalysts, and we took only the three dimensional metal catalysts because we don't want to use 4D and 5D material because they are much heavier, so my rate of hydrogen will go down. So what we done, and then we brought the, the hydrogen removal energy on the y axis versus the different catalysts, and you can see that. Hydrogen removal energy is lowest for iron and for uh, if you compare it with a titanium trichloride, so it's 
it's almost by a factor of three. So if I use it, I can try to write at the at the country, I can further reduce the temperature by a factor of three from the other category. So this is yeah. And then you can ask me why I why I put much factor and and we can try to write. Oh, sorry, uh, I don't like it, but much better than Hagenium chloride. So you can see that if you plot the whole distance of the iron and the it's lower for the iron. And if you look at in this picture, of my uh, left hand side and it's the right hand side to compare the picture. For hydrogen, you know, and you can see the iron is lowest, and here the bone distance for iron and is also lowest. So if you can reduce this bone distance further down, we can design a new product at least here, even that will be much more better than even iron type So, iron is cheaper than compared to hydrogen. So, it's a good at this. And then we went back to our experimental colleagues, and most of these experiments are in the hydrogen company done by Bob and Dickie. And they told me that they are using the same products for the time for hydrogen trichloride, iron trichloride, but in half an hour time, they see that hydrogen is much better than iron. So then we have to them why would we increase the volume time for iron and chloride? If they further grind it and uh, more than an hour, then you can see that iron works much better than So this is a two way process where you can design any kind of materials and any kind of catalysts. Uh, so, so now these reactions are reversible, so we can reduce further thousands of temperature, and that could be you know, potential candidate for storing hydrogen and uh, for, uh, for mobile application. So then I took example of the metal organic framework. So I will not uh, go much in detail because uh, at that time I will not go to the battery parts. I will uh, focus only on this part and then I will come to and I can take the question. So metal organic framework is other kind of materials and they are now in the amount of using everywhere, not only for storing hydrogen, if you go to uh, even drug related products, they are using more. So, so it has a potential application. So if you look at the most, they are porous materials, you can a lot of ages in this hydrogen. So again, you try to check whether uh, as I told you the in the MOF system, problem is the weight percent of the uh, hydrogen is okay, but uh, the resorption temperature of hydrogen is very low. For example, if you take MOF 5, and in this one, uh, the weight percentage hydrogen is 3.38% but that. Hydrogen already come out from the system at 77 Kelvin. So here I have resorption temperature and uh, how I increase the resorption temperature in MOS. So we use the same grid and we use the bleak and crack organ as in practice and we decorated our system with lithium and then we can find that uh, in fact lithium also works uh, very well. So we got the distribution. Oliver the length simulation and plot of air distribution function. And we can see that the, uh, the shape of the peak. And you can see that uh, uh, I can have a desorption temperature increase from 77 to 200 Kelvin. Uh, and still maintaining uh, 98 percent of hydrogen in the system. And even I can have a desorption at room temperature and having that to 2 percent of hydrogen in the system. So here yeah, the, the weight percentage is not all important, but the, uh, the idea of catalyst is working here also. So, so now a lot of these people who are working in terms of this, and they want to work in the system. And they think that it's easy to increase the resorption temperature rather than increasing the system resorption temperature. So again, catalyst work in both cases, and uh, here you in most it, it helps to increase my resorption temperature factor. In, 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 uh, in, uh, in the chemical system, uh, the catalyst can help you to reduce the disruption. So, both the uh, way, uh, both system, catalyst system. So, with that uh, software, I will not uh, go to battery, but I will just uh, put my concluding remark here. And uh, and these are the my collaborators. So, uh, I would like to take a question and have a more discussion. And if you want to know about the uh, Indian hydrogen mission, so I will thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Anuja, for the very illuminating talk. The session is open for questions.
Professor Anjali will be happy to take a couple of questions. Yes, Dr. Vasundara, Mike, can you please pass the mic to? Thank you very much for your uh, talk, sir. Uh, I have one question. As you mentioned about this simulation work, which is very much a, in case a good path for the experiment is. So for the nanostructure material, how accurate these simulations? Uh, so uh, when, when, when you talk about the accuracy of simulation, and I am not interested to give the numbers, the quantitative number or exact numbers. So we are just showing the trend. So ideas of the simulation, you should not take simulation for the numbers, what number we are predicting, what number they are suggesting. You should more focus on the trend, what trend we are doing. So I say that if you have 10 different techniques, I can tell you which is the best method. So you take that as a technique. Or if I say that I can reduce the disruption temperature and using this catalyst. So that is more important to tell you that okay, disruption can be reduced if you use this catalyst. But don't think that if I say that it's uh, reduced by 100 Kelvin or 200 Kelvin or 300 Kelvin, that number uh, uh, is not that reliable. So only think of computational material science give you a trend and sometimes our numbers match with the experiment, so that's the thing. But we are more interested to give a prediction and uh, in which direction uh, you have to go as, as a chemist also. And I have not shown the example of the batteries. Here we can help the, the uh, people in a, which is a good adapter for material. So again, there also I will not put the number, but I can tell you. If you give me a two, three different material and tell me which one is the better, I can tell you better. Or we can look how they do the AI or the I can give you, I can. Look at all the databases that I can make a new cathode materials or anode materials for you. But again, that is also, uh, I will say you should take that also with the clear and this is a, again simulation and that uh, pretty good process for experiments we have to do. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Dr. Aparna Chakravarti has the next question. Yes. Very nice and very illuminating, talk, sir. So I wanted to ask uh, this, how exactly these uh, catalysts are chosen? Like, uh, uh, how one should uh, go by, uh, go about by, uh, about choosing these catalysts? Uh, uh, I mean, can you repeat? I cannot take care. So how are the catalysts chosen? Uh, so how do you how the catalysts, catalysts chosen. are chosen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So because for, uh, if you want to use for stationary application. Especially when we're talking about hydrogen economy. I don't care about the then because it's a stationary application. So you can choose even rare earth as a catalyst. I will not mind for that or platinum people are using as a catalyst. It's very rare. But if you want to use for a mobile application, like you want to use in a car or in buses or online production of hydrogen, then I will use the catalyst it should be lighter. Because uh, I have to compete with the in the end in, uh, with the oil and gas. So I want a material which can have a lot of hydrogen in the system and can absorb like uh, like the lithium boron hydrogen or like that. So it can have a 28% of hydrogen. And now if I do the catalyst, so it means that it's also temperature when the catalyst, my 8% it will go down. So I will not use, I will use some lighter catalyst. Uh, so it depends uh, basically which application you want to use. And uh, for mobile application, you can try to use only the lighter catalyst uh, because of the weight concern. That's the only, only criteria, especially in the area of hydrogen economy. Okay, thank you, sir. I have one more question. Like, uh, what is the status of using machine learning, machine learning potentials for these things? This work? What what is the potential of machine learn machine learn uh, techniques for these kind of work? Okay, actually uh, nowadays AI and machine learning is a buzzword. Sometimes we, we don't get any help, but still they are using. So basically, what happening? Uh, I will say that in the past we call it data mining or computational software. 
we design we are using existing database and throwing some numbers like uh, we design for example i want to design a, a high temperature superconductor which is more important and i want that is a vcs kind of that is the electron phone coupling constant should be very very high so that that's possible to the unit temperature so ai and ml can help you to uh, using the huge databases again figure out which materials of interest uh, for a particular application you want to design a, a cathode material with high voltage because right now you have a, a material which you are using lithium cobalt or now because it started to use LiFeO4 you can get around 4 volt out if you want a material then you can get 6 volt out and what else you can design the Using AI and using all the databases. And then uh, go back to the game, you have to go back to the initial calculation, like what we are talking So, sometimes what you get from AI and ML is not 100% good. So, then you have to check the initial calculation or quantum mechanical calculation. And then you can see whether what is coming out of AI and ML is the right uh, selection. And then if you see the same kind of trend in that initial calculation. Then you can go to your experiment. So, this is again, I will say that AML is not a, you cannot use it independently, but I would say it's more like a combinatorial approach, uh, combining uh, this kind of approach. That's I think that, I think actually it's more like you know the uh, working on the algorithm part basically. So, in the back end basically it helps you know in optimizing the errors, basically minimizing the errors. So AI and NML is directly not you know calculating the properties basically. It is helping you to minimize the computational time, right? At error minimization. That's the only part of the app. That's why the professor Auja has said basically it is not directly helping you know the guys to calculate the property. So computation time is better used, right? And of course it's a fast algorithm you now. I can do the fast calculation. So that's what it is. And are there any more questions? Yes, yes, yeah, please. Dr. Chapter has uh, yeah. asked a question. Uh, well, uh, Professor Ojia, it's uh, nice seeing you here and congratulations for giving to the premier institutions in the country. Uh, well, I wonder whether you are setting up some experimental facilities for uh, uh, testing the simulations uh, at Gopal or Again, I mean, I uh, are you setting up any experimental facilities in uh, IIT Guwahati to, to substantiate the theoretical calculations? So, some experimental no, facilities no, in, in, this, in, this, in this direction. He's not able to get this. Can yeah. you repeat, I think, uh, Amir? Yeah. Amir. I cannot hear. Yes. Are you thinking to set up any experimental facility in IIT Guwahati in this direction? Oh. Oh, yeah. Actually, the, the, there are groups uh, working here. And, uh, but no one I know that uh, there is a group working here. So, of course, uh, uh, most of this hydrogen value is coming to IITs again. So, but I have not seen the application from IIT. So, I don't know. In many of the people in the chemistry department, they are working on hydrogen. That's a good area. And they should take off in IIT. But other IITs, I know, for example, IIT Bombay. Uh, they are coming up and uh, and then I said Pune is also coming up in this area. I T Jodhpur also and I T Delhi also. But I have, I have not seen any application from my point. But uh, I, I have to discuss here with the chemistry department or maybe they are working on it. So if they are not working, they should work because this is the upcoming area. So maybe they should work. That's the issue. I'm not sure I answer your question right. Uh, there's a problem. So listen from your side, uh, uh, the sound is not coming from you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think Dr. Chapter is satisfied with your answer, uh, as I see. And uh, are there any more questions? One, one more question from the back. Yes, uh, we have to pass the mic to her. But Professor Ahuja, are we audible to you? Raji, can you hear us? No, I cannot hear clearly from you. Oh, yeah. That's my problem. 
actually uh, the electrolysis process of hydrogen production will be quite some energy. So there are several scoops in uh, photovoltaics to uh, to drive the system electrolysis. Uh, so then uh, the full things will be clean and green. And uh, what are the scopes in future to uh, in this area that uh, photovoltaics are actually driving the hydrogen production? And the storage part also, we are uh, trying to, if it is the load where we can storage, so there will be any kind of regulation and automation required from electronics part so that uh, we can sustain the energy production. That is because I, if I understand you, because regarding the storage, and now if you talk about storage, I told you that in India, most people have the uh, gaseous storage, and they are talking about the different type of collectors, type 1, type 2, type, now we are talking about type 4, right? And uh, so and then we are using very high pressure, in 700 bar, it's a, it's a big pressure for hydrogen. So, so we have to find a materials. Uh, where hydrogen, because you know the hydrogen is very nasty, so it, it interacts with the materials, the boundary of the cylinder, and it creates a crack and all those things. So people are talking about the composite materials, also the carbon-based fibrous material, carbon fiber material for storing hydrogen. So, so this is the, uh, the situation right now in in the gaseous storage, and uh, so now they are talking about the cylinder. Uh, big cylinders, not uh, the small cylinders. Uh, so the so material is very important because otherwise my cylinder is very heavy. So now they are making this composite uh, carbon-based material. And uh, but the carbon-based material also not very safe actually. Maybe you know the recent uh, accident in one of the submarines having a carbon fiber as a cylinder, and that busted, and you, you see that all the seventy people were separated. So again, the materials developing in slender are also not easy because hydrogen under pressure is a bomb. So, so that's the one standard people are looking, but there are now standardization. What what kind of slender has to be used for the uh, for the mobile application? For the stationary application, I don't worry too much about it. I can produce hydrogen on board and uh, all, not on board. Uh, as a stationary, like I want to make a hydrogen based generator in the back side of my home, I can use the red hydrogen, I can use that by not into storage. And there I don't have to worry about the much of data also. So I always feel that if hydrogen economy is going to work, it will be going to work in either a submarine or an ocean. They are very not to work. So you can, if you want, I mean, how we do the sea water, how we can do the desalination of sea water. And we can produce hydrogen on board and we can drive all those ships. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's for the future. Uh, so, since I cannot hear you properly, so this is my summary. Of the, otherwise, you can turn to me and then we, can, uh, we can have a discussion also. And if you are applying for a uh, hydrogen valley project and if you want to be a collaborator at the entire airport, you are most welcome. So if there are no more questions, please join me in thanking Professor Ahujat for the very insightful and wonderful talk and also for sparing his valuable time for us today in the morning. Thank you, Professor Ahujat, very much. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, thank you, Ali. And thank you, Arra. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us and um, doing this candy to the topic. We'll see you some other time if this can work. <laughs> you'll be here. You'll be here. Thank you so much. So, we are just closing the session. So, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh,